All right, Coach, uh, BCU basketball, uh, FAMU, familiar foes. Uh, talk a little bit about tonight's game. we got to give them credit. They, they came with a heck of a game plan. Um, they were able to turn us over 20 times. You know, they, they threw a little different zones at us. And, and honestly, we just couldn't get going offensively, and I, and I think that really hurt our defense. So, you know, hats off to them. They did a heck of a job tonight. The rivalry. Uh, talk a little bit about the rivalry. Uh, you've seen it uh, growing up here and, and being a part of it, coaching in it the last couple of years. Talk about the, uh, I call it the basketball classic, but but talk about FAMU, BCU, and the, the MEAC rivalry. Well, I, I think it's one of the best in the country. Um, you know, obviously not feeling super great about it right now, but um, four times we've played them and, and four times we've had packed gyms. You know, I think it's, it's, um, you know, when you're in it, it's as intense as it looks from the outside. And, and as dudes out there playing hard and, and when you wear BCU across your chest, you're, you're proud of it. And uh, not a lot of better feelings than beating FAMU. Um, unfortunately, we just, we just didn't get that done today. Coach, going forward, is there anything you can take from this as you move forward? Well, I think we have to. Um, you know, the next time we feel like this is going to be the end of our season. And uh, we've had a lot of trials, a lot of tribulations, a lot of adversity this year. And, uh, you know, hopefully this will be, uh, you know, the, 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 the final one that can kind of push us over that edge and, and have us playing well uh, next week in Norfolk. The tournament coming up, March Madness, the MEAC tournament. Um, talk a little bit about the mentality going in. Well, I mean, you got to be hungry every possession. Um, I think you got to be two things. You got to be mentally, you got to be physically ready. And uh, that, that first part mentally is, is as big as, as anything we're going to do this next week is making sure our guys understand how, how valuable each possession is. Um, they rest their body. They, 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 they take care of themselves. And I believe it's next Thursday we'll have a chance to hopefully come out and compete at a high level. Any closing comments as we think about uh, the season and we fret, reflect and we move forward into, uh, as we call it, March Madness? Yeah. You know, James, I'm, I'm disappointed right now with, with the way we played tonight. But at the end of the day, man, that, that's, that's a group in there that has endured a lot. You know, you have your best player get hurt three games in. You have another all-conference guy miss 10, 10 games. Another all-conference guy miss five games. Uh, you're leading uh, your point guard missed multiple games. So it's been a, a, a heck of a year for adversity. Um, but at the end of the day, to position ourselves um, with a first-round bye. And, and, you know, if you take a look at February and March, we're playing really good basketball. Um, so I'm proud of that group for staying together. Um, and, and I think we're going to have, have a chance to play really well here next week. Thank you, sir.